In this short video, we'll be taking a look at the dim lock tool within Risa 3D version 18. I'm going to go ahead and showcase to you how it can add a lot of efficiency to your modeling practices when you're in the program. So to showcase this, I'm going to go ahead and attempt to draw some horizontal bracing on one of these levels here in my pipe rack structure without using the dim lock tool. And then we're going to go ahead and see what it's like to draw with it. So first off, I'm just going to go ahead and use my members tool. And then I'm going to basically try to add, like I said, some horizontal bracing in here. And you can see how it's quite cluttered with the amount of members we have going on and you never really you don't have too much confidence if you're clicking on the right node so you can kind of see how tight your working space is here and so sometimes you might not always get the node you're looking for so what I'm going to do now is go ahead and just undo those changes and show you what it's like to draw those using the dim lock tool so first off the intent of the dim lock tool is to give you basically an ability to uh, display the selected members, but also being able to see them with relationship to the rest of the model and while having that rest of the model in a dim state, which is why we call it the dim lock tool. To use it, I'm going to go ahead and go into the XY view, and then I'm just going to go ahead and select all of the elements that I don't want to see. And you'll see here in just a second that we're going to use the invert tool. So if I hold control and click to drag to the left, I can go ahead and add more elements to that selection. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and use my invert tool. And then I'm going to hit my dim lock tool. And you can see now if I go back to an isometric view that it's significantly easier to see uh, the elements that I'd like to have for drawing my new horizontal brace members. So let's go ahead and recreate that. So let's go to the members. We're going to go ahead and click here. And you can see how much easier and how much more confidence you have with drawing those new members in with the rest of the model in a dim state. Now in this example, I showed how we can select a large portion of members that are all relatively close to one another. But in a scenario where you need to select members that are maybe in separate ends of the structure, it's actually quite easy to do that as well. So you can just select over these members, hold the control, and then click and drag over another selection of members, or you can individually select these members by holding control and then clicking on, say, maybe I just need these extra three beams here. And again, just use that dim lock tool to go ahead and get all of the selections easily visible and then also have the rest of your structure in a dimmed state. So one of my favorite uses of this tool is to really narrow down and just single out a certain, maybe a frame in my model, because that makes it easier for me to show on a print graphic in the event that I need to print and show results only for that specific frame. So let's go ahead and showcase that. Let's just go ahead and turn off the dim lock tool and say, hey, we only wanna print out the results for this frame here, but I also wanna make it easy for the person who's gonna take a look at my calculations and show them that this is this specific frame that we wanna look at. So now I can just hit my dim lock tool again, and you can see how it really made it really easy to single those out. Maybe I wanna go back and just go ahead and add that beam in there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hold control and select those elements wrong button there so we can click our dim lock tool and then I can take a look at it of course in the rendered view but I can also solve the model and let's get some results for this frame and then I'll go ahead and show you how we can display the unity check values which are again going to be something very useful to show in your print report so if I just go back to my home tab I can display the unity check values for these members here so in the event that I want to create a print graphic now I just go up to here hit my printer button say print graphic and now I can actually place this anywhere I need to in the screen. And I can actually make my dim lock tool, I can make it active in it and inactive from within this view. So if I wanted to maybe add a, a different selection of elements, or maybe I decided to go back on adding that beam, I can just go ahead and select the braces and the columns. And then I can say, let's go ahead and dim lock that again. And there we have it, just those elements selected and presented in our print preview. And now we can subsequently then filter out the results for these elements and make a really clean calculation package where we've just singled out those particular elements to show in our calculation package. And so just to wrap this up really quickly, I just wanted to show you really quickly how the dim lock tool is going to differ from the lock tool. So to do that, let's just go ahead and go back into a 3D view. And you can see here, if I turn my dim lock off and then we go back to a rendered state, I'm going to show you the difference between the dim lock and the lock tool. So it's sort of self-explanatory in the name here. But again, if I click these elements and say dim lock, then the rest of the structure is dimmed out 
and then only the elements that we selected are clearly visible. Now, alternatively, if I turn this off and then I go ahead and select those elements and click the lock tool this time, you'll see that everything else completely disappears and only these members are gonna be shown. So it's completely up to you in whatever scenario you're in, whether you wanna show the rest of the model relative to the selected elements, or if you wanna completely uh, have it disappear and so it not be present. Thanks for watching this video on RESA 3D version 18. For more information, please visit our website at resa.com.